By now you know how to run a container, how do you launch it from a Docker Hub image as well as how to connect to that container using the port mapping. What I'm going to show you is a very interesting application which will allow you to run a web-based application which manages your local or even remote Docker environment. So instead of using Docker CLI, you can completely rely on this web application and that's what this application called as Portainer is. To set up Portainer, all you do is go to portainer.io, go to get a Portainer and run these two commands. One of that creates a volume which will persist the data which is generated by Portainer. Second, runs the Portainer, launches it on 9000 port, you know the port mapping and then it does some special setup where it mounts the socket on the host inside the container which will allow my container to connect to the docker daemon and manage it on its own that's what gives us the privileged access and it is running on port 9000 so i can go to the host call in port 9000 and uh, that opens up the port in our setup page now this is where i have to create the password it's not a predefined password, so don't go looking for the password. You generate a password here, which should uh, you know, be at least eight characters long. And then you connect to your Docker daemon, either local or remote, or you can also use a port in a agent or launch it on Azure. I'm gonna use local, which is what, which is why I had actually set up that minus V option. If you don't have that minus V option, you'll have to go back and redo it again. This is the Portainer page and it is already been set up. That is really amazing. And I didn't have to worry about how to launch, how to install Portainer. It is just a Docker image, which I launched as a container. And I have my complete environment, which I can man start managing using this UI, starting with containers. So if I click on those containers, I have these many containers running. I can manage it from here. I can remove the existing container this is equivalent to using docker rm uh, docker rm minus f as well i can stop a running container using by selecting it or one or more container rather in fact i can create or delete all of these from here now when you operate these containers make sure you don't touch the portainer uh, because this is actually running inside a container. if you delete that this application is gone you can also connect to the existing sh you know to a shell this is the equivalent to using docker exec and I have just used that exact shell. I can select the, sh uh, select the shell as well and then connect to the console of a running container. I can also manage or monitor it from here. I can see the information about that container. I can launch a container using that add container utility where I just provide the name that is optional. Again, you, uh, all you have to provide is a name. Let's say I launch a ghost application using the name ghost01 and provide the image, which is already there. So it auto automatically selected it. And I would choose publish all exposed port, which is equivalent to running with capital P. And once I deploy it, that's all I it takes. It will just launch it. The image was already there. So it is already running my application here. I can connect to that. Uh, again, obviously I'll have to replace the IP address with the host's IP that is running my Docker daemon. And uh, I should be able to access the application running there. I can connect to that application again using that shell and this has a bash shell so i can you know this is like exec i'm inside the container i can run any command from here after i disconnect i'm going to go back to the container list and show you how to monitor it as well to monitor it you can just click on that graph symbol wait for a few seconds and it would start generating the data i'm just fast forwarding it and it is generating and monitoring the data it does not store it in a database so it is just live data that you would see while you are while you have this console open but that is really useful utility for monitoring the resources including memory cpu etc you can also manage the images. You can list the images. You can, you know, go and look at the image details, including the size, the commands, environment files, any layers. Uh, all of that information is displayed here. I'm going to go and examine the image for my application that is Ghost. The image for the Ghost application. That's the image for the Ghost application. And I see a lot of environment variables which have been used to build this image as well as uh, th those are the environment variables and these are the actual layers and each of that layer has a size, the details. So all of that um, information is nicely displayed in a tabulated format here on uh, Portainer. Similarly, I can manage networks, volumes. I can look at the volume details here, uh, where it has been mounted and which driver it is using, etc. I can go back and look at the events, which is my Docker system events or Docker daemon events, which are, create, uh, which are pulled by Portainer. 
container. This is equivalent to running Docker system info. That is the engine information. I can also, this is additional thing that Portainer gives me is one click deployment. So this is like a catalog from where we, I can select the application and it's going to just launch it with one click. This is the dashboard for Portainer, so this uh, endpoint, which is my local instance. Similarly, I can create multiple additional endpoints. I can use the same UI to connect to a remote Docker server as well and add as many Docker instances as uh, needed and then start monitoring it all from here, this UI. So Portainer is a really useful utility and you should definitely consider using it, especially when you're new. This makes managing containers really, really easy.